Good evening, everybody. It's Kate here from the Safeguarding Association. Uh, checking in with you this Tuesday evening. Um, I was wondering what to talk to you about this evening and kind of thinking about what's gone on in my day to day. And as I was driving home on the way to pick Sam up, I um, I was kind of reminding myself of what I'd been up to today and, and it's been a bit of a mixed bag if I'm absolutely honest but I was reflecting on what I'd done this morning how things had gone what I might do differently and it struck me actually that the the way a case was dealt with this morning was incredibly different to the way the same case had been handled by a different judge only a few days or a couple of weeks earlier. And it was it's not a complicated case particularly. It's a um a revocation of placement order, so relatively straightforward. But the way the court handled the case on two separate occasions was actually really marked. And it was just another reminder that for me that's just normal judges are human um they are busy people the judge today was in and out of a elongated criminal trial the judge prior to that had had no knowledge of the case and was being very careful and considered about what they were saying and what they were going to do and for me that's perfectly normal within the court process but parents were in attendance and were shocked at how different it was um made comment as to how different the the situation was and it really made me think if you aren't used to dealing with the family court the the way that I am um and you're in it very irregularly or you're in it for just a small part of it that some of the intricacies of the family justice system can seem a bit odd um, and you'd think that dealing with the same sort of hearing so it was a further case management hearing on both occasions that the court would deal with it in pretty much the same way and the reality is it doesn't judges are human they will have different takes on things they will have different views on things they will ask questions in a different way they will um, deal with matters in a different way and it can be really tough to wrap your head around that if the only time you ever get involved with a court case is kind of weirdly in the middle um, or right at the end of a case and so I um I, I was just thinking how how difficult it can be for a non-lawyer to wrap their heads around what goes on and it's the same within the criminal court don't get don't get me wrong but within the family court um I think there's a there's a perceived secrecy about it and in reality it's not secrecy it's confidentiality but the way a court will handle the same case on two different occasions can be really different as I say parents remarked on it and I I got to thinking well what have been some of the experiences that you've had how have um you seen cases dealt with on different occasions maybe you've been given evidence and on the first day you're giving evidence the judge is in a is dealing with it one particular way and the parties are behaving in one particular way and then you go back the following day and it seems like there's been an entire shift um and did that did that happen did it throw you off kilter how do you manage it are you a seasoned pro at this um i'd really love to know what you think what your views are on it all um I'm I'm seasoned to it. I walk into court and know that on any given day I can deal with a judge who is usually really, really placid and really, really lovely, but accept they are human. And if they've had a really difficult case prior to it or a similar ilk for a number of cases, that you can sometimes get the short shrift for it. So work for a local authority, take your metaphorical hard hat everywhere. But please, in the comments below, let me know what your experience is. 
um what did you find most daunting what um what was your experience like did you find that um it was easy to navigate or did it feel really kind of alien to you so let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on that i'd love to know and uh see how things have been going for you within the family court arena i'm now going to go and cook tea i have a, a recovering sam at my feet i don't know if you can see him excuse the slippers um poor little mite is still not terribly well so we he picked him up from daycare where he's been a little bit poorly so it's lots of tlc this evening and i'm hoping to goodness he sleeps through tonight because believe you me Carrying a 30 kilo dog in from the garden at three o'clock in the morning is not fun at all. And if I look shattered, <laughs> that's because I am. So I'm going to uh, make myself a drink and start cooking tea for us as a bit of downtime. And he's going to get lots and lots of cuddles and snuggles this evening. So until tomorrow, have a lovely evening. Don't forget to let me know your experiences in the comments below and I will speak to you tomorrow evening.